Ever wondered what the difference between a merger and an acquisition is? Well, buckle up, because we're about to dive into the fascinating world of business transactions. Picture this, two companies, each with their own strengths and weaknesses, decide to join forces and create a new entity. This is what we call a merger. In a merger, both of these companies cease to exist in their original form and give birth to a completely new organization. This strategic move allows them to potentially expand into new markets, gain a larger market share, or even achieve economies of scale. And what about the shareholders of these companies, you ask? They usually receive shares in the new company. Now imagine a different scenario. A company spots another company that has something it wants or needs, so it decides to purchase this company outright. This, my friends, is an acquisition. Unlike a merger, in an acquisition, the acquiring company continues to exist whereas the acquired company is absorbed. The acquiring company assumes all of the assets and liabilities of the acquired company. The shareholders of the acquired company typically receive cash or shares in the acquiring company. Acquisitions can be either friendly or hostile, depending on whether the target company's management agrees to the deal. So in essence, while both mergers and acquisitions involve two companies becoming one, the process and outcome can be quite different. In a merger, a brand new company is formed from two existing ones, while in an acquisition, one company simply absorbs another. Why would companies choose to merge or acquire? There are quite a few reasons. Companies might want to expand into new markets, gain market share, reduce costs, or diversify their operations. A well-planned merger or acquisition can be a strategic move to grow a business. However, it's important to remember that mergers and acquisitions are complex transactions that require careful planning and execution. They can be a risky proposition, but they can also be a very rewarding way to grow a business. So the next time you hear about a merger or an acquisition in the news, you'll know exactly what's going on behind the scenes. You'll understand the differences, the motivations, and the potential outcomes. Who knows? You may even find yourself part of a merger or acquisition one day.